Hi, Sally. Oh. Hello there, Andy. Alex. Alex. <laughs> no, I don't like things with balloons in. You don't like things with balloons? I don't really like balloons, no. I, they make me nervous. Why is that? Uh, well, they burst and all sorts, and also I'm not very good at blowing them up, but I'm going ahead of myself. Let's see what the task is. Put the biggest thing inside this balloon. Oh, Alex, again, that's disgusting. <laughs> the balloon must then be successfully inflated, tied, and bigger than your head. I have ten minutes. The biggest thing. This is bad news, because, I, for a start, I don't know that I can manually inflate a balloon. I, Alex, famously in my family, cannot blow up a balloon. My time starts now. So, Mark, Mark and Ashling both uh, claim not to be able to blow up balloons. No yeah. claim about it. It's just pure fact. What is that? Have you not got enough muscle structure around your lips? What's going on? I use too much of it for pouting on selfies. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Mark and Ashling. Mark being mildly phobic of balloons. Here we go. Could I put a load of things in it, like a load of biscuits? Mm-hmm. I don't really know you go from there. Um, I'm just going to see, first of all, if I can fit a cherry tomato in. It says the balloon must be inflated. It doesn't say I have to do it. I think that's going to be the only way. I'm going to have to get an assistant. But what is the biggest thing that could go in here? Can I fit a load of cherry tomatoes in it? If you think a load of cherry tomatoes is a thing, then that's OK. Yeah, cos once they mush together, they make a sauce. So you're putting a tomato sauce in there? Actually, I'm putting in bruschetta. So, look, let's just put this... For example, this will go in here. They're nice and round. A breadstick. Break that in. I mean, what if I ask one of the people here? Do you reckon you could do this? Oh, I hate it when balloons are burnt. So I'd like you to blow it bigger than my head, so if you use my head as a... Oh, my God! Now, that, I reckon... Yes. So that is bigger than my head. So that is an entry now. Oh, no, it wouldn't be me tying it, I don't think. I can do that either. Can you... Sorry, can you not tie a balloon, Mark? Uh, well, I... No, I wouldn't have thought so, no. In my balloon today is a very simple bruschetta dish. And I think you can safely say that it is bigger than my head. Oh, this is making me feel very... Uh... Have you done it? He's done it. He's done it. There we go. All right, well, uh, thanks, everyone. <laughs> I hope we'll work on task together soon. Thanks, Mark. Well, I mean, who doesn't enjoy a delicious bruschetta rammed into a balloon? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely job. Then you burst it and it's ready to eat. Yeah. I like to open all my lunches with a loud explosion sound. <laughs> um, OK, Mark, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I, Come on, what's up? It, it, it would take probably too long to go into all Come of on, the mate, answers. you're a father. Uh, yeah, I know. Imagine how many parties I have to go to with balloons <gasps> and stuff. I bloody hate them. Do you eat proper grown-up food? If somebody cuts it up, if someone cuts it up, cuts for me, it up for yeah. <laughs> normally the sand guy cuts it out for me. Right. <laughs> well, I can tell you that Mark, despite the fear, he did manage to place a single small pebble in the <laughs> uninflated balloon. <laughs> but then he did get it inflated, so I think it's fine. So he's got the score so far is one very small pebble, and Ashling got nine tomatoes, two breadsticks. <laughs> And a little bit of bread as well. Or a bruschetta. Or a bruschetta. Or a bruschetta. Yes. Uh, we're going to see Bob and Sally now. Well, Bob most likely probably got a penguin in it. <laughs> Maybe I can repair a balloon so I could cut the balloon. Am I allowed to have these thoughts? You can have whatever thoughts you want, Bob. And you're not going to advise me in any way. I appreciate that. You're not that type of guy. Well, I don't think the sofa's going to fit. So maybe I'll just work down from the sofa. Mm. Pineapple's a strong contender. The bell jar's slightly bigger than the pineapple, is it? And I've also brought a vine, which is quite a big concept. <laughs> That's not as stretchy as I was hoping. A little out of practice of this kind of thing. It's just like reverse childbirth, right? Getting a baby into the family dorm. <laughs> Put the biggest thing inside it. Could that thing be liquid? There's taps here and that, isn't there? Plenty of taps. Slippy hands. What's he saying? The task wasn't make a good noise. 15 seconds. I'm not going to do it. Three, two, one. I didn't tie it. Let's get the concept of a vine. Bigger than your head? Are you saying yeah, that's certainly bigger than my brain? <laughs> um, 
<laughs> I've never seen a de-escalation like that before. <laughs> Your initial opening was sofa. <laughs> you went sofa, bell jar, little wooden man, bunch of grapes. <laughs> Can I say, Taskmaster, I'm a little bit, like, fed up, do you know, <laughs> because I don't believe Sally blew her balloon up. Um, I did. We I never did. have controversy on the show. This is awesome. What are you complaining about, Bob? Because Sally's balloon went down. It's these no, two. It was yeah, just that my only problem was tying the balloon. I, I would say, Bob, that it says inflate, from, which is from the Latin fiatare, which means to blow. So one could say that water... Yeah. Didn't, I mean, if we're being pedantic. Yeah, well, if we're, if we're being pedantic, you put some grapes in it and didn't blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think, Bob, um, that it says anywhere that you weren't allowed to ask someone else to tie it up. No, but I was... And all I'm saying is I don't want any credit for it. I just wanted to say I'm fed up. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's right to be fed up. I also feel fed up. <laughs> but having said that, the two people who can't blow or, or tie up balloons are now in the lead. Okay. Yes. <laughs> up next, it's. It's Nish. <laughs> what about this stone? The problem really here is the balloon. If it was just a task of find a big thing, it'd be so easy. Let's try a smaller stone. Straight in. Right, just a series of stones. I wonder if that constitutes an object. I'd say a pile of stones. A pile of stones. There we go. How many constitute a pile of stones, do you reckon? A hundred. Let's get another stone in there. Come on, you stony shit. And another stone. Now they're just slipping down. It's like a bag of change from a medieval film. Two minutes, Nish. Oh, God, OK. Not quite. Thank you, Nish. See you later. I don't think it'd be uncharitable to say that uh, Nish has done fabulously badly. <laughs> yeah. I really felt like this was your big chance, mate. You know, simple Well, the way thing. that these all keep getting put together is they go, and oh, now here's all the people who are still in the game, and now Nish! Now Nish. <laughs> yeah. So, lovely. Unfortunately, you know, we've got to go by the uh, literal rules of the game, so you can just tell us uh, who successfully blew up the balloon and who got the biggest thing in it. Um, weirdly, the bruschetta <gasps> wins it. Ooh, <laughs> And Mark gets four points for a very small pebble in a balloon, which Done is... Done by somebody else. <laughs> that does mean, uh, scoreboard-wise, Ashling is now in the lead. <gasps> and look. Nish is uh, last. Oh! oh. <laughs> for more Taskmaster, subscribe now. <laughs>